Welcome back. You're watching NDTV Profit. Let's pull up the stock of Bajaj Electricals. That one is high by 2.5% nearly. The news coming in is that it's worth, it has won 8 new orders worth 518 crore rupees. To talk to us about uh, these new orders, we are joined by Mr. Shekhar Bajaj. Uh, he's the CMD at Bajaj Electricals. Mr. Bajaj, thank you so much for joining us on NDTV Profit. Uh, we understand that these orders have come in from the MP government. Can you tell us the scope of the orders and when will you start booking? these orders on your books? Okay. Uh, as far as these orders are concerned, there are eight orders worth 518 crores by the Madhya Pradesh Power Distribution Company. Uh, seven of those, seven districts are basically, uh, seven of them are in Jabalpur area and one of them is near Bhopal. So there are eight different orders varying from uh, 55 crores going up to 149 crores. But uh, these orders are varying from... Uh, 18 months to 24 months, and uh, these are all uh, rural electrification, which we call power distribution orders. And therefore, this would be for the uh, low end, where there is no power to give electricity to uh, below poverty line uh, homes, where there is no electricity. And with this order book, uh, our total orders around 39 will be 3178 crores of ENP orders of this power distribution. All Hello. Right. Uh, Mr. Bajaj, what, what are the margins that you enjoy in these rural electrification projects? All right, uh, we'll get you the, uh, we'll try and uh, call back uh, Mr. Bajaj again. Uh, the news is that Bajaj Electricals has won eight new orders from the Madhya Pradesh government. They are largely centered in the Jabalpur uh, district and they are for rural electrification, which is largely power distribution. Uh, the order book for Bajaj Electricals has gone up to 3,178 crore rupees. Remember, just a few days back, Bajaj Electricals had won another large order. I think it was due to in about 600 crores or so. Add to that another 580 Cross, uh, which they have announced today. Uh, so uh, there is uh, a large amount of auto inflows coming in for uh, this company. Um, the timeline for completion, he said, uh, is between 18 and 24 months. Mr. Bajaj is uh, with us on the phone again. Mr. Bajaj, we wanted to understand what are the margins on uh, these uh, rural elect electrification projects? Okay. Uh, basically, uh, for the last two years, we had uh, earlier some old legacy projects which we are completing and where we had to, uh, which had got delayed for a long, long time. So, uh, last two years, whatever orders we are taking are all with our minimum cut-off margin. We can't share the margin level, but we are saying they are all profitable business. Otherwise, this business has to uh, make sense. Otherwise, uh, we would not participate in these tenders. Now, we've got an order book of 3178 crores, of which 2346 crores is of a uh, rural electrification, uh, 746 crores is of CLT, and illumination, which is high mass, etc., is 86 crores, including the Chhatrapati Shivaji uh, BT uh, terminal. We are doing LED lighting, so all that together is even 7 8 crores. On one side, uh, again, last year, uh, we had just got an order for 602 crores last month. Now, I think our order book is very strong. But we are still only saying that we will do about 1,500 crores in the current year. We are not, uh, in spite of these new orders which are there, we do not expect that we want to do much higher. Sales, we rather do good execution and do a good job rather than be in a hurry to finish all these new projects. Right. Uh, so, you know, when it comes to your order pipeline, can you give us some details? So you're not in a hurry, uh, you know, to increase the order book. So, uh, are you going to be cautious ahead? What kind of a pipeline do you have in mind? I told you that uh, we already have 3178 crore order book. And personally, I think around 3000 crore is what we would like to be around that area. We don't want to further increase this because I'd rather do 3000 crore properly and executed properly rather than taking bigger orders and you know delaying matters we would like to finish the project you're going to focus more on the execution of the orders that you already have with you right now correct and complete it uh, in time and do a good job rather than just uh, numbers games so we are more interested in execution and bottom line rather than top line mean that you will not bid, sir, when bidding happens? Because we have spoken to a number of companies uh, in the ENP and the turnkey space, capital goods, and they say they, they expect bidding to really pick up in the fourth quarter. 
we are actually now uh, wanting to go slow in a new bidding because we already have sufficient orders to keep us busy for next two years. All right, sir. Uh, and when it comes to your lighting business, uh, uh, can you tell us uh, what is the outlook there? Are you uh, seek, uh, looking at large orders coming in there as well? Okay, lighting. There are two different segments. One is the light source, which is uh, we call lighting internally, and one is luminaires. So luminaires business is what is picking up and uh, doing well. The lighting into CFL, we are not doing that well because. Uh, the uh, market for CFL is almost now flat. There is no, hardly any growth coming, and the margins are also under pressure. So, but the lighting segment as such should be, according to me, uh, compared to last year. For the year, it should be better than last year. And as far as the consumer durable side is concerned, that is going to pick up from second quarter onward, and next quarter also should be strong. So. We are expecting the consumer durable segment should be, in terms of bottom line, should be better than last year, substantially better. And ESP last year was a loss making, which will turn around and hopefully make some positive numbers. So I think overall, the year should be good for the company. Right. So if you could just give us, you know, some kind of a guidance, what kind of revenues are you expecting in the entire year, F515? For the uh, year, again, last year, 4,000 odd crore, we are looking at 4,700 crores, may go up to up to 5,000. Uh, growth of 15% each in lighting and consumer durable, and 25% growth coming out of ENP. So much for joining us on NDTV Profit and sharing with us uh, more details of uh, the orders backed by Bajaj Electricals and the outlook ahead for both the lighting segment as well as the EPC segment. Uh, there are a lot of pharmaceutical stocks that have been buzzing today. Uh, to talk to us about the impending news flow and some of which has already come through, we are joined by Sarajit Kaur Nandra. She is Vice President.